Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. So tonight I'm going to be imaging a target in the Cepheus constellation known as the Cave Nebula. So it's a pleasure to have your company for a night of imaging. My name's Glenn and you're watching Astrobloke. Hi everyone and welcome back. So tonight, as I said, I'm going to be imaging the Cave Nebula. I have actually attempted this image once before, um, but I, I wasn't really getting very good results. Um, so tonight I'm going to revisit it with um, some different equipment. I'm going to be using my Skywatcher 130 PDS and my 294mm Pro and I'm going to take an SHO image of uh, the Cave Nebula. The um, Skywatcher 130PDS is going to have a reducer in it which is um, a 0.9 reducing coma corrector. So it's going to take it from 650mm to 585 and it will drop it down to about f4.3 so it will be nice and quick. Um, and uh, I'm really hoping to get some good data on this uh, target. So just a little update, everything's running really nicely, uh, the subs are coming in and looking really good. Um, I'm not using my 3 nanometer filters on this, I've got them on another project at the moment. So at the moment I've got the Altair Astro um, SHO filters which are 6.5 and, and 7 nanometers, but they're doing a great job. Um, everything's coming in nice and it's all looking really good, um, the image is actually coming out better than I thought it would so fingers crossed we'll have a really nice image at the end but um, at the moment I'm on the EQ6R Pro uh, but tomorrow I'll need that for something else so I may be moving the 130 PDS and the setup I've got on the EQ6 now and putting it on my HEQ5 Pro um, which will be absolutely fine the HEQ5 handles this rig absolutely perfectly um, that wasn't someone that uh, just got shot by the way, that was a firework um, still going off even though we're way past our uh, bonfire night which is November the 5th, um, the fireworks are still going strong. Right, let's carry on with this uh, capture. So we've um, had a bit of cloud tonight, um, it's uh, spoilt a few of my subs, for some reason it kept uh, interrupting my O3 subs but uh, that'll be okay, um, we'll, uh, we'll sort that out later. But um, the clouds have been coming in and out um, and uh, unfortunately now it looks like a very large cloud cover has come in and that'll be the end of the uh, imaging for tonight which is a real shame because it was going quite well but hopefully um, the forecast is tomorrow is due to be clear as well so I'll be back out tomorrow um, but I'll have the 130 on my HEQ5 and we'll be running it from there and um, with any luck I hopefully will uh, get the image finished so I shall speak to you then.
Hey everyone. So yes, my first night, clouds came in and uh, spoiled my fun, but I was lucky. The second night was clear and I was able to really get some good imaging done. I was on the HEQ5. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of that um, because uh, my other camera's battery ran out when I was about to do something, but um, that's okay. But I actually had a really good second night and everything was going really really well I was getting some really nice subs and I ended up with 15 hours of data um, which is great so I've got all of my calibration frames put in and I've given the uh, image a good process in PixInsight and I must say it's the best cave nebula I've certainly taken and I'm extremely happy with it so I hope you like it too as I'm about to share it with you and all that remains for me to say is thanks ever so much for joining me again I wish you all well and clear skies